Do you enjoy consuming products like coffee, berries, and honey? Would you worry if news reports, daily articles, or media sources report a decline in these products? Believe it or not, this dilemma is already occurring throughout many places around the world. But why is this issue happening right now? Research has found the answer to this certain question, the global bee population decline. This tragic event is closely linked to colony collapse disorder. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, colony collapse disorder is the phenomenon that occurs when the majority of worker bees in a colony disappear and leave behind a queen, plenty of food, and a few nurse bees to care for the remaining immature bees and the queen. Once thought to pose a major long-term threat to bees, reported cases of CCD have declined substantially over the last five years. However, there have been other major cases that have served as an impediment to the bees' repopulation. But why are bees important? Bees pollinate 35% of global crop production, which is directly responsible for creating a variety of crop species. Therefore, bees account for a variety of 87 different crop species globally. Remember coffee and berries mentioned earlier in the video? Along with those products, Bees also help pollinate tomatoes, zucchini, melons, and cacao. <laughs> That's right, cacao, or chocolate. Now we understand how else this could turn out to be such a tragic outcome. In all seriousness, here are the causes and effects of the global bee population decline in a nutshell. Number 1. The Use of Pesticides This was one of the earliest known causes of the bee population decline when it came to human influence. Majorly, this cause has been the most responsible for creating the largest impact on the decline. Research has discovered that agricultural pesticides were found in unprecedented levels which proved to be toxic for honey bee colonies. These pesticides contained a chemical known as neonicotinoids, which deems these pesticides as harmful. However, this of course was not a purposeful way of attacking bees for the pesticide itself, it was not for the sake of preventing beneficial pollinators such as the bee. Countries that depend on these pesticides were unaware of the harmful effects of its use. For example, experiments in Japan were conducted to test outcomes of different pesticides on Japanese honeybees. The experiment included an array of samples that were commonly used in pesticides, including the deadly neonicotinoid. Unfortunately, the experiment yielded a variety of results as different chemical denominations of the neonicotinoid could not all be classified into one single group relative to a certain effect on the bees. Number 2. Climate Change Second to the leading cause, studies have shown that climate change has numbered bees down drastically. After recording bumblebee populations throughout North America and Europe, scientists conducted an experiment in order to analyze fluctuations in population over time. With the collected information, they were able to compare the relativity between bumblebees and temperature tolerance. Interestingly, the scientists say that Areas most affected by global warming showed the most acute declines in the bumblebee density, while populations rose in regions that had been previously too cool for the bees to thrive. In addition, climate change has emerged as a more major and recent cause of the modern bee population decline that still occurs today. Bees are known to be cool climate specialists, therefore, this has been a stronger factor in the more recent reports of the ongoing bee decline than other causes. Number 3. The Transportation of Bees As a globalized planet, many countries interconnect to participate in the importation and exportation of bees. To set an example, the United States has a mass amount of beekeepers who are in profit off nursing bees for the purpose of breeding 
and exporting the countries that are willing to import these bees. Any country could participate in this act as they could benefit from its purposes. However, Japan is a great example for this cause, as Japan has lost a great number of bees to the widespread implementation of pesticides in the country's native rice fields, and has imported bulk amounts of bumblebees from these specialized beekeepers. Though, when explained this way, the act of transporting bees can be suggested in a positive and as a highly effective way to repopulate bee species for countries in need. Some may implement the most optimal and ensured way for the bees to safely arrive at their destination. This may be true, however. It actually poses an issue to bee survival. When bees arrive in the importing countries, they are more susceptible to the exposure of diseases that these bees may not have adapted immunity to in their home countries. Number 1. Research into the Phenomenon In the early stages of the unfortunate events leading up to what it is now, Researchers were encouraged to conduct studies to gather information about the root sources of the global bee population decline. In addition from discoveries, a group of researchers have conducted an interdisciplinary study to perform primary students about the importance of bees to our environment. The study began with the pre-assessment that resulted in showing that the students had limited knowledge about the concept of bees and pollinators. After the group guided the students through activities to help the teach the children to learn. The article also stated that the children were taught that bees serve a very important role in pollinating plants, trees, fruits, and vegetables. After the activities were conducted, the students took a post-assessment which resulted in their gain of knowledge in the concept of bees and pollination. Since these researchers decided to conduct the study in hopes of collecting information, they were also able to create an impact on spreading awareness which will hopefully help the bee population decline in the near future. Number 2. Political Actions There is no doubt that global issues like these would reach the political stage. Even President Obama took the bee population decline into consideration. In 2015, the Obama administration announced the first national strategy to promote the health of honeybees and other pollinators, a bureaucratic title for a plan to save the bee, other small winged animals, and their breeding grounds. Additionally, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations had established the UN World Bee Day, which takes annually on May 20th in order to spread awareness about the phenomenon. According to FAO Media Relations Irina Utkina, the FAO's Director General Jose Graziano da Silva recorded a video message explaining the effects of the bee population decline. Utkina also mentions that the FAO has also carried out activities, written reports, and conducted studies in order to focus on bee and other pollinator decline. Number 3. The Importation of Bees Ironically, this has been a cause for the decline itself, but it has been a surface level solution to many countries. As a necessity to the agricultural industry, bees are responsible for the flourishing of the global food supply. However, the worldwide bee population has plummeted over the years in tragic numbers. As mentioned before, Japan has lost a major amount of their bees to the widespread use of pesticides in the country's rice fields. Writer and publisher Jen Verskis adds that, as an effect, Japan imported bees from an Israeli program called BioBee. It is a quick and easy way to gain the bee population though it is ironic how it also puts the bees' lives at risk. Number 4. Economic and Agricultural Connections Another important effect is how the bee population decline could majorly impact 
global economic systems and agricultural industries. Fariscus mentions that wild bumblebees are crucial to the agricultural industry and are important for the pollination of crops like blueberry, apple, tomato, coffee, and nuts. She also says that as a consequence, if the population continues to decline, then the food supplies assortment will become limited and increase the prices of the agricultural economy. Honey can also be found in an array of consumables around the world and even in beauty products, especially in Japan. For this reason, bees are important as they interconnect the global economy with the agricultural industry. Ultimately, in the United States and Japan, the global bee population decline has major causes and effects dealing with economic, environmental, political, social, and agricultural factors. Throughout the global bee population decline from 2008 to the present, many events have taken place. In the very beginning of the calamity, when people from all backgrounds, such as bee lovers to scientists, started to notice something strange within the bee world, a life-changing event had started. As they account for pollinating two-thirds of the global crops that humans consume, one could determine how important these creatures are to planet Earth. Take the time right now to reflect on what you, your friends, family, and loved ones could do to save the bees. Whether it be campaigning on social media accounts, writing letters to local government officials, or signing petitions, actions like these can make a big difference. Efforts such as researching into the causes and taking political actions are being taken in order to support the action in saving the bees. Even if ways are being developed to conserve, save, and protect these bees, many people still do not understand the importance of their responsibility. People from all around the world should spread awareness about the crisis as bees truly have a major responsibility and keeping everybody's global connection in place. As mentioned before, here are a few of many petitions I have signed that you could also sign in order to take a stand in saving the bee population. They will also be listed in the description below. Let's save the bees together hand in hand. Thanks for watching.